Hey there, guys. What is going on? Sloppy here. Playing some more Creativerse in our beautiful Creativerse world. But I logged in here in this early morning sunrise in Creativerse and just had a gorgeous view of the sun shining off this build. And I'm really happy with it. I, uh, I think last episode got me in a really good mood about it now that I started to see... The vision I had with, you know, the overgrown stuff. And, yeah. I'm feeling really positive about it. I'm excited to get going. It's early on Saturday morning for me. And, uh, I'm awake. The sun is shining outside, too. My coffee is brewing. I can hear it. It's about to hit me with the smell. I just know it. It's going to be a great Saturday morning. Playing some creative verse. And, Yeah. Let's kick off. We're going to keep working on this because I'm excited about it. And, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, the first thing I actually want to do is, um, nothing related to this, although I, I do, of course, want to work on this, but, um, the first thing I want to do is actually plant those seeds we got last time. Um, so there's like a free seed kit. Uh, um, so, uh, oh, I kind of want to, like, leave this somewhere. Oh, man, this is tricky. I want to put this box thing down because it's such a cool block. Like, that's such a cool block. So now I just need to not take out everything from it. So I don't want any wheat or turnip or anything. Um, I want some of, I want all these, like, weird ones. Um, I want these weird ones. And I was actually going to try something here. Um, oh, I need to go get a hoe. But yeah, I wanted to plant these seeds and check out some of these um, these things. I want to see sort of how they look. Maybe we can use them in the area. Those other vegetables, I know how they look, so we probably will use them in this area. Um, at some point, I think it'll be kind of cool, like the wild growth, if we have little patches of vegetables and stuff to kind of give some variation. So that'll all be like for landscaping, but I'm curious about these ones. So yeah, I'll be, be right back. You know, I'm happy they cut this in half. This used to take four seconds, which <laughs> is crazy to think about. Um, but... Do you feel like it could be even, maybe not faster, but maybe like a 3x3 three three land if you have like an upgraded hoe? You know, I, I've often thought, they, well, they have started to automate stuff with the villagers. But, um, yeah, I think farming isn't that useful in, in the first place, you know, if we're, uh, if we're honest. And... I just feel like there's, like, little tweaks they could make that make it a lot more, like, palatable. Like, a hoe that does 3x3 three three land, I think, could be great. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess, unlike other games, it's kind of like... Well, no, because you still have to process the seeds. Yeah. I didn't even finish my thought before I disputed my own thinking, so... Um, yeah. So, as you guys may have saw, um, as you guys may have saw, as you guys may have seen, ooh, maybe early morning recording ain't for me. Um, as you guys probably saw, I have a few villagers. I thought here would be a good place to test, um, I don't know if they all need a processor. I thought here would be a good place to test, um, uh, what do you call it? Like, gardeners? The one in my base, um, as you know, we've been experimenting with a little bit. He hasn't been giving very good drops. So I was curious if, um, four of these guys can apparently hang out together. Why they make it such a I don't have to have it active um Gardner alright you guys uh, make this happen alright 
I'm curious uh, how many drops they give. I... It's creepy. I'm being <laughs> being stared at by like a terrible boy band, a terrible futuristic boy band. Um, yeah, I'm curious how many um, things they give. And if that's like if the one at my base is like the exception and it's not working or if they're just like a really slow villager. Anywho, um, building time. I want to do a few things today. Oh, bloop, 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 bloop. I haven't seen you guys feedback from last episode. It hasn't gone live yet, but I hope you guys like what I'm doing. Um, I think I can do a little bit of progress without waiting for comments, though, because I it's pretty basic i want to get these sides extended and this little tower thing and then we can start making the walls backwards um and then we can you know i think that'll good go then we'll have the shape of the building wow i maybe i should have like a no recording but before 9 a.m rule you know i don't know um but yeah, I think we can extend these walls out, and at least then we know the edge of the building. We can start, you know, thinking about that. Um, and then I would love to get a little bit more structure up on top. Um, yeah. There's not much more to say about that. I would love to get some more structure up on top. But today, I'm mostly focused on... I want to get these walls finished, and at least some sort of tower shape in. Um, and then, you know, the front facade of the building, at least the first floor, is kind of finished, which is cool. And then, um, maybe, I'm not sure how much time I'll actually have today. It depends when my boss calls me frantically, asking me to log in to work. Um, yeah, I, I, well, I mean, it's, it's become a Saturday ritual that I hope doesn't repeat today. But anyway, um, yeah, maybe we'll even get time to lay out the building, which would be cool. Um, now that I now that I think I want it to be kind of like a little adventure, I've been I've been thinking of a lot of ideas. I'm curious to see your guys' ideas about that. But you know, with the Star Wars thing in mind, um, I think it could be a lot of fun. So anyway, um, I gotta stop talking now. So <laughs> um, a little bit of time later, I was building up the. Um, the windows on this side and uh it looks a lot better it looks a lot better it looks a lot more finished um this last section i'm not fully sure what i wanted to do i know i didn't want the window so i sort of jutted it out a little bit and uh i actually think that looks not bad it doesn't look good per se this probably won't be the textures i use for this wall um but I don't hate it. I feel like it adds like a nice definition, at least. <laughs> uh, so that's good. That's good. It's coming along. Um, yeah, it adds like a nice like, oh, right, that's the end of the building because the window stops sort of thing. At least in my head, that's what makes sense. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side so that we have the full first floor facade done. The other thing is we're probably going to like build this straight up, so it'll also feel like finished on this top level too. That's how I'm breaking it down in my head. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone, but to me we have sort of have three levels. We have this one, we have this one, and then the top level. So by having this sort of end cap that's a little bit different and doesn't have the windows, it's sort of like, oh right, it's finished there. So... That's my logic, at least. So I'm going to um, extend it on this side as well, so that we have sort of the full thing. Um, and yeah, I think that'll look really good. We have a lot of terraforming to do. Um, we have to bring the land up to sort of that level. But uh, I'm going to leave that for now. That's going to be closer to the end. Um, yeah. There's just there's a lot we can do with the terraforming that can add different things, so... I sort of want to leave it for now. You know, we could add a, like a pond feature. We could, I don't know, have like a a crashed uh, 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 X-wing. Oh, it's been so long since I've played Battlefront. <laughs> uh, like a crashed X-wing, maybe to like tie in the Star Wars more. Um, you know, there's a lot we could do. So I'm sort of leaving it. We could, you know, have a cool lava pit, just like that infamous scene um, with the lava. Um. 
so there's there's a lot we can do with the terraforming a lot of it will also these guys are so creepy they just keep staring at me when i sleep over here they all just sort of like look at me um anyway um yeah so the, the, so the terraforming i'm gonna leave they're also you know we might use the terraforming to do some neat stuff with the adventures type stuff you know so that'll probably be the last thing we do or close to the last so anyway, now I just want to get the other wall on. I think I'm talking a lot because I'm trying to <laughs> delay actually having to do it. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Top part. Um, I'm also, I'm, I'm sort of putting off doing the top part until sort of the walls are finished on the bottom part. Because this will probably depend a lot on this. Um, yeah. Anywho. One of the things I really love about, about this game is uh, how atmospheric the sunrises and sunsets are. Like, the lighting in the game, it all just, like, is really, really pretty. That you get these really different, you know, sunrises, sunsets, and uh, I just I really love that. Anyway, um, you can see I've got both sides on. Now they barely fit in frame from one uh from my little tree here and uh, i think they look really good um i really like this um so yeah i think that's a good width a good width um you know i wanted it to go quite a bit past these little walkways because uh that's what the photo i've been <laughs> using um that i don't reference anymore now i'm just going off you know i'm going off queen um, sorry, I heard that once and now I'm saying it. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I wanted to try something a little bit. Um, so now I, I'm just sort of building more off of what I think it should look like as opposed to, um, anything else. Medieval, medieval. Ooh. Should I, should I introduce another medieval brick? Let's see how that looks over here. Bloop, 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 bloop. Boy, remember times before the glider? Unreal. Uh, I mean, that looks bad, but I think I like the general idea. I think switching up the texture is good. This is sort of what we want, I think. Um, I will say it is a pain to build. <laughs> it is a pain to build when you don't have like land and stuff below you. I sort of forgot. I've been building so many like normal things recently that it's been really um, different to build like this. Yeah, something like that. So the ends are going to be a little bit different, but that'll probably depend on how this top section looks. Um, so now we can work on that a little bit. Um, I kind of want to fill in the back on these as well, but I don't know. Um, I don't know what we're going to do for lighting in here either. I know um, that's probably a concern I should address at some point, but... You know how it is. I want to leave some of this grass in here as well. I feel like the grass, um, like leaving some of this grass would be kind of cool. Make it look like nature crept in a little bit more. Um, but yeah, this place is real creepy. Um, at night especially, because it has zero lighting. <laughs> uh, at night especially, real creepy. And, uh, well, why don't we share that sunrise we've been talking about as my slack dings in the background. Um, yeah, I love this. So once that back part's filled in, I think we're going to get a really cool, like, depth. Because you'll be able to see through these, like, pillars that the building continues. And then the idea is that you sort of have to explore the building. And there's going to be, like, little secrets and little challenges to do. And they all amount to... I don't know, getting the plans for the Death Star. You know, just copy Rogue One story. 
I don't know. We'll we'll do some sort of Star Wars based adventure. I promise you that. I might use the Discord to to pillage for ideas, but um, what I'm gonna do is get this top section filled out a little bit more. So I want to get this floor running all the way down to where the towers are gonna be. Um, at least finish that off, and then I think we're gonna start adding some blocks to this structure up here, and uh, see if we can't get sort of this this section. Um, a little bit more complete, but I'm really happy with the progress so far. I think these towers are going to be, you know, we've got the width of the building. Huzzah. Well, that's done. Um, also, I just did a little bit on the ends to make sure that we can kind of visualize that they're separate. And uh, I think it looks good. So let's talk about this top part a little bit. A little bit. And, uh, yeah, so I wanted a doorway of some description, and then the main body of the structure is sort of back here. Back her. Um, I actually, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm struggling to, like, visualize it coming together. You know what I mean? Like, I'm struggling with, like, how should this look? Whoa, 666 stone left. What? Like, I, I kind of know what I want it to look like, but I don't know how quite to get it there. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Hmm. As a Minecraft villager would say. I guess maybe one of the things we could do is get up there first <laughs> Ooh, um, also um, well we're up here Wow okay um, ignore that high note um, yeah I don't really have any idea for laying this out just yet I know sort of what I want um, but we'll probably not get to it this episode um, I think I want this to be like a few blocks long Yeah, so where, how does this meet? That meets there. Maybe that can be our door here. Uh, I think that could be cool. I kind of want like an inset doorway. I don't know why, I feel like those are kind of like mysterious and I dig that. Let's uh, do one of those. I guess these should be slabs. Not that this particularly matters at this point in time, but uh, I guess these should be slabs. So we probably want like a little inset doorway. Maybe wall here and then wall further back just for a little bit of extra depth. Although I might... I think I'm going to move this in one or two blocks. Yeah, and then this... Like I want actual doors here, so. I want actual doors here. We'll probably use the stone door. Um, we may do that another time. Yeah, because like this is, you walk out and you have the full view. Yeah, that'll be kind of a cool, cool moment. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that'll be like the end of the adventure somewhere up there. I don't know. Unlocking those doors. Yeah, so that'll be inset a little bit. That'll look cool. And then this wall, this tinier one, we're going to bring in a few blocks so that there's some depth between the two. And I think that'll look really good. So, yeah, we want to create that depth. So maybe... Maybe... Here. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Cause that gives us like quite a few blocks to play with. Yeah, now there's a lot more space there. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that'll give us a lot more space. Then we'll be able to see that back wall a lot more clearly. Come in even one more. No, I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough. And then 
Yeah, we probably want to vary up this texture. Maybe this is a good spot actually to use the this guy. Yeah, this might be a good spot to use this guy. Okay, okay, I'm gonna build it out a little bit. Thought it'd be good to uh, to look at something else for a minute, and um, yeah, I don't know why I'm in my villager lab. Don't ask questions, I would say. I don't have anything to repair. Oh wait, I can expand armor. Sure, repair that guy. Thank you, Bob. Um, yeah, so um, I wanted to tell you guys that tomorrow, Friday, I'll be releasing kind of a special video. Um, oh, cool. Thank you. A lot going on here. One day I'll investigate this. Um, tomorrow, Friday, I have kind of a special video coming out. It's sort of a... Um, Wishlist for Creativerse, I guess, is probably what I'm titling it. It's basically um, uh, me. Um, wow. This villager especially just gives so much stuff. Um, I'm also looking forward. I get to use a lot of these um, for the first time for a lot of them in, uh, in this adventure. I do want to play with these quite a bit. Anyway, um... Tomorrow, Friday, uh, kind of a special video. It's sort of my wish list for Creativerse for the next few months, year. Um, just some stuff I'd love to see added, changed. Um, yeah, just sort of a, a talky video about some things I would love to see um, in Creativerse. And um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in that, that'll be tomorrow. Um, it might not be that long of a video. I don't particularly want it to be that long of a video, I don't think. Uh, but just some stuff I'd love to see added, changed. I'm trying not to be too down on the game. I feel like, compared to where it was, um, like a year and a half ago, two years ago, I feel like the game's in a pretty good state. I know some people are still having a lot of trouble getting the game to launch and stuff, and, and you know, obviously I, I hope they could fix all of that, but, um, you know, that's kind of beyond the scope of what I would say, you know. Does that make sense? Um, anyway, I'm trying not to be too negative in the video. Uh, more just things I would love to see. If they don't get added, it's not the world's biggest deal, but, um, you know, it'd be, it'd be great if they were. Um, so anyway, that'll be tomorrow. I just wanted to let you guys know and uh, kind of give a change of scenery because, um, you know, I feel like we were staring at the same thing for, for a while there. Is that all my villagers? No, there's some over here. Also, I, I finally I added these so we can kind of get up to where this path will be. Um, but yeah, if you guys... Well, I'll ask you on that video, but uh, if you guys feel like there's something that you'd really love to see like added or changed in Creativerse, um, I would love to know. Sticky Washington. Interesting name. <laughs> Uh, one day I do want to uh, delve into this live mystery. Maybe next week. Um, today I'm focused on building. Anywho, uh, let's drop that off. And let's head back over to our Star Wars area. Um, but yeah, tomorrow video. Just wanted to let you guys know. Sort of uh, 2021 Creativerse Wishlist, I believe, is what the, the name of the video will be. All of these guys just waved at me. Let's... Uh, Wowzas, okay. Hello. 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 Cool, that was a lot. Um, interesting. I haven't seen this mere, mere, I, I haven't seen this mere grass before, I don't think. Doesn't look like it's grown yet. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, I, uh, I guess I need to put more, uh, water sources here. Uh, I'm just gonna dig one underneath. That's more than a full block. That's weird. Um, um, I, I uh, they're not just harvesting the ones they're standing closest to, I don't think, but... Anyway, that's kind of cool. Those guys are working away. Um, it's weird they have these circles around them. 
forgot what I was going to say in this clip now. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, anyway, a little bit of work up here. Um, time to, to, to do it. So I tried something. Um, I got a little bit of depth on just the front part. I think once the bat back part is in, it'll also look a lot better. Um, but I tried these stone lattice windows. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which I think look pretty good. Um, they look a little churchy to me. I don't know if that's just me, but they look a little churchy. <clears throat> As my voice goes. What is going on, man? Mornings. Um, anyway. Uh, it looks a little churchy. I think it'll also look a little bit better when there's uh, when you can't see like the sky behind it. Um, but, unfortunately, that's all, <laughs> all I have time to... Uh, to do today so um yeah i'm gonna sit with this for a few days let me know what you guys think um we got a lot of work done this is coming along really well uh, i'm really happy with it we've got the width figured out so now we can um, you know build backwards if we want we've got this uh top section a little bit figured out and uh yeah i'm feeling really good again about i'm feeling really good about this build i think it's coming together really well and uh yeah, I'm excited to get playing with some of the mechanics, too, and, and make this, like, a cool little adventure. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. All that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.